Alright, I was going to create a, a video talking about um, damnation and how it, it is possible to keep somebody, to uh, damn somebody on the astral. And anyways though, um, I was going to talk about this thought form attached to me and how these aliens are doing this to me as we speak. And... This was one reason why they um, got me caught up in the whole meth, the whole drug addiction and all that, because they they needed they needed to get me on that route because um because once they threw the parasite on me because I, I learned as time went by I don't know if this is a thought form attached to me or if it's a real being a real uh, some a real creature and um. I got the feeling it's a real creature, and and I got it, and I found this out one night when I was doing um when I was doing shrooms, cause I I did some shrooms, and it was more so of a the reason why I did it, cause I I never have good experiences with um psychedelics, and every experience I had in the past with psychedelics was very bad very scary and um but the only reason why I did psychedelics was to learn to learn about the universe about consciousness and my place in the universe and psychedelics in the end of course the JOS will preach against psychedelics and all that and of course the new age movement's gonna put this stupid cheesy label on psychedelics you know and, and get psychedelics a bad name in itself despite the fact that um that it uh in a way promotes it but psychedelics is a great is a great learning tool um and there's a goddamn fucking fly but anyways um bothering shit on me anyways though um psychedelics are a great learning tool if you want to know your place in the in the if you want to learn about the universe and your place in the universe, because you are the universe, and um, and you know, uh, one form, one one big thing people experience when they do psychedelics is is an extreme case of solipsism, and um, solipsism. The JOS preaches against solipsism and, and tries to de debunk solipsism because solipsism is the belief that only you. Only you and nothing or nobody else exists in the universe but you. Everybody is a figment of your imagination, and in a way, this is true, because um, because this consciousness coming out of my brain right now that I'm filtering out is coming out of your brain as well. You're filtering out the same consciousness, and there is only one consciousness. Quantum physics even pro quantum physics proves this. Uh, mathematics proves this that there is only one consciousness, one. That the foundation of reality itself, everything, everything that's the the basis of reality, the the the, the reality at its core is um, consciousness. And so you know, in a way, life is but a dream. You know, a dream within a dream within a dream, a mind within a mind within a mind. And this is one reason why the JOS, you know, is 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 against solipsism and all that because you know once you start to figure out consciousness and once you start to figure out fucking that there's one consciousness and you start to understand the concept of infinite realities and once you understand the concept of infinite realities that's when you start to understand that the satanic truth is not the truth and that satan is not the most powerful being in the universe and that um and that there there has been other beings before satan that achieved the godhead and that um Satan is not is not untouchable or unstoppable, you know, and it, it, it pretty much destroys their whole their whole satanic truth that they got going on. And once you do realize that, you know, you're you're going through these enemy attacks and Satan's doing nothing, you stand by the sidelines. Oh, they won't kill you though, but they'll they'll just watch you suffer and, and eventually, you know, suffer to your own demise. And they'll never lift really lift a finger to help you at all and as long as you keep on believing this satanic truth and keep on believing that um 
Satan and his demons are the most powerful beings in the universe and are the only ones willing to help you, you're never going to reach out to other beings out in the universe that are just as powerful or more powerful. So therefore, you're stuck in this, in this, in this mindset until you do meet your own demise. And, um, and that's another thing that JOS likes to preach about is choice. Well, you got the choice to do this, you got the choice to do that. It's your fault you became a drug addict. It's your fault that the reason why you know you're lazy and blah, 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 this and that. No, it's not because choice has, I mean, our choices have been opposed upon at the moment we were born. I didn't choose my name. I didn't choose to be named Richard. I didn't choose to be, you know, uh, a mixed blood, uh, part Native American, part, part, you know, part white. Uh, I'm more white than I am Native American, but I didn't choose, you know, to be two races. I didn't choose to go to church. I didn't choose to be baptized. I didn't choose to go to school. I didn't choose to, you know, uh, uh, watch the news, whatever, because I, I, I was forced to do a lot of these, a lot of these things when I was a kid. So, you know, um, when you're a kid and you're being forced to go to church, your choice is being imposed upon. A lot of choices are being imposed upon when you're a kid by the government, by your family. And in a way, your family, you know, is unknowingly working for the government. And, um, society that is so you know by the time your brain is fully developed enough to think for itself it, it your brain's already fucked over it, it's already programmed by by the matrix the matrix already has you so um so you know people want to point to my drug addiction despite the fact that hp salem burke w was a meth head you know and and this is somebody that satan and his demons chose to be a high priest and um it, and they don't like me bringing that fact up because when I bring that shit up, you know, the, the JOS kids are like, oh, well, how, how do you know he was a meth head anyways, huh? And it's like, well, even your fucking hooded cobra is, is assuming that he done meth and all that and, and is busting jokes about Salenberg being a meth head, which is, I, I find pretty disrespectful, despite, you know, knowing the fact that Salenberg has actually, you know, did a lot of good for the JOS. But, you know, that that's Hooded Cobra's Jewish sense of humor for you, you know? But anyways, um, and, and you can look that up on their e-groups, you know, just type in fucking um, Salem Burke and read a couple of those topics and you'll see Hooded Cobra commenting uh, on those on those topics and, and him flat out saying that fucking, you know, Salem Burke is a joke and he's a method and he did meth and blah, 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 you know, really making him fucking, really making him look like an idiot. And um, and then you're sitting there thinking the whole time, like, wow, and this is somebody that Satan chose to be a high priest? Not to mention, you know, Salem Burke even says in his own videos on his own channel called Salem Burke that fucking, um, he thought Muhammad was a good guy and Allah was a moon god, you know, and he, and he, and he saw Mah the prophet Muhammad as, you know, being good and satanic and all this other crazy crap. And, um, so you didn't, so Satan didn't see, foresee this? I mean, Satan is supposed to see our deepest aspects about ourselves. Everything, I mean, Satan knows everything about us. So why would he allow these people to be high priests and high priestesses in the first place if they just, along the lines, eventually fuck up and fucking, you know, end up fucking <laughs> doing shit that they're not supposed to do? And, and, I mean, not to mention the lottery thing, you know, and then and then um, bragging about your winnings online and, and saying that the spirits helped you out. That was pretty stupid in itself, let alone showing your face to the world. So, um, yeah, but going on, um, and this parasite attached to me totally made me forget what, the, what I was going to say, but now I remember since I brought it up because this video is pretty much about this parasite. But, um, anyways, though... This is how they. This is how they. They damn people because um, they need me involved in the drug life because before I was hooked on meth, this parasite wasn't attached to me. It it was around me. It, it, they were getting ready to throw it on me, and I, and believe it or not, I've accidentally even taken pictures of it. Well, it, it exposed itself in one of my pictures, like because I used to I used to show my face. You know, when I, when I first got involved in the JOS. I used to have pictures of myself on Facebook. I used to have pictures of myself on on YouTube and all that, but I was never making videos on my own on YouTube. I was I was actually supporting a lot of the shit from the JOS and and helping them spread their their 
so-called truth. But it was um, and one of these pictures I took in I took in the past. This parasite attached to me actually showed itself in one of the pictures, and it showed itself in the form of a of a little person, but it was like a deformed little person, and um, it was like it was like a little person like the ancient Egyptian god Bess. But but it had deformities about it, like it had like its fingers fused together. It was like a little deformed midget. But it actually, you know, I took a picture of myself and it actually stuck its hand in the fucking picture. And then when once I took the picture, I didn't realize it until I took the picture and then I saw it and and I saw that little fucking hand coming up from the side. And I was like, holy shit! I was like, this little motherfucker just just showed itself in my in my fucking in the picture I just t t took. And, um, so it was always there around me, and, and you know, I, I, I didn't really realize it until it attached itself to me, and, it, and that's, and as I was doing meth, it was just waiting for my aura to become weak enough, so it could latch onto my aura without being thrown off or fucking, you know, you, uh, manipulate it, mani manipulate my aura itself. So, um, eventually as I continued down that, that, that path of doing drugs and doing meth, um, my aura became weaker and weaker and fucking, and then that's when it latched onto my aura and, um, and that's when I realized I have a problem because now this thing's getting in the way of my meditations, it's getting in the way of me doing yoga, it's getting in the way of my visualizations, my breathing techniques. And um, my my way of thinking, it's constantly fucking, you know, saying affirmations inside my subconscious. So eventually I would face my own downfall. And every day of every second, it was working for my demise. And um, eventually, as I was doing drugs and all that, I mean, um, I, I couldn't stop because it was constantly saying to my subconscious and programming my aura to keep me stuck in the drug life. And not to mention, I was doing rituals. I tried to even contact the, uh, I think it was the demon viewer or something like that, and asking the demons for guidance to, to to get rid of the drug addiction for me, or or to help me get rid of it for my for myself. And, and nothing was helping. Nothing was improving. And and a lot of people are gonna point say saying like, you know, it, it, it's your own fault, R.J. But but really, it's it, it's not because as I said about the choice thing and not to mention when I did make that dedication I was confident I was always being protected I was confident I was always being watched and protected and, and Satan and the demons would never allow nothing horrible to happen to me this was one of the this is one of the main things that the JOS fucking pushes and um and I quickly I, I started to find out slowly but surely how untrue that actually is and um I was promised by fucking HP Maxine's fat trailer park ass that fucking um, once you make that dedication to Satan, that there's nothing that can touch you on the astral, and um, cause Satan and demons just won't allow it. I Ain't mean, nothing could ch touch you in real life or um, or touch you on the astral, you know, cause there's astral entities that that would kill you, and fucking um, and I believed it, and what do you know? This looks Parasite attached itself to my aura, and Satan's demon did nothing to take it off of me. And as time went by, and I continued doing drugs, the holes in my aura started becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. Eventually, my aura became so weak. I don't even know if I have an aura at all anymore. But um, but eventually, my aura became so weak to the point where it got past the holes in my aura, and then fucking, and then that's when I really, really had a problem emerged with my astral body I mean not completely but but to some extent so that's why I'm scared because if I relapse again then it's gonna gain more power over my astral body and eventually it will take over my astral body it, it will become me it will become my entire being and it, this leads me to the question like how many people out there are possessed right now completely how many people out there in society that have human bodies but the the thing operating their bodies aren't even human at all and I and I have to I know I can't be the only one going through this shit 
I've read of similar experiences of people that are not of the JOS on the internet. And, and there's very few cases of that because you, I mean, you'll far hardly find any any cases of people going through the same exact thing I'm going through. But eventually, every once in a great while, you'll stumble across people that that are. And um, like Blue Lion, for instance, was one person. Like there's there's a user on the e groups that posted of a parasite being attached to his aura. And getting in the way of his meditations, and getting in the way of absolutely everything he was doing to better himself, and that he he was at like a, a point in his life where he was stuck, he couldn't go any further, and he was asking for advice and help from the from the e groups, from members of the e groups uh, on the JOS, and nobody was really giving him good advice. They just continued, you know, trying to say, well, did you try this meditation or did you try that one? And and fucking, I tried posting to him and, and saying, like, hey, dude, wh whatever happens, don't let that thing get past your aura, because once it gets past your aura, it's going to merge with your astral body. And once that happens, once it once it attaches itself to your astral body, you're fucked, because you're not going to you're not going to ever be able to meditate again. You're not going to be able to do visualizations. Your uh, psychic powers, I mean, you won't be able to direct your own energy anymore or fucking let alone manipulate it and fucking it you pretty much belong to the entity and if your astral body becomes weaker or it gets more power power over your astral body it will even start to control your movements of your body your physical body and when i made that dedication of to to joy satan in the first place when when i started researching and all that i'm smoking on a cigarette so sorry taking little pauses but um when I was reading on the JOS and all that, nowhere did I hear of any shit like this happening to people. Nowhere did they say that this was possible for the enemy to actually throw a parasite onto your aura, and, and the parasite can actually merge with your spirit, and and you could become possessed, or that there's people out there right now that are fully possessed and not even human, and they're walking around among us every day, and um, where's the JOS talking about this shit? Well, where's the, where's the protection for Blue Lion? Where's the protection for me? Let alone other people that have fallen. Let alone some of their high priests are, aren't even heard from anymore. And fucking um, and Talik Vovum, you know, is one case. Vovum Baggy, Salem Burke, fucking, where are these people? And you know, Talik Vovum, I don't know who knows about her, but fucking um, but anyway, so. Eventually, though, um, it, if I continue giving this thing more power, it's gonna it's gonna completely take over my entire being. So that's why I talk about you know like if I start removing my videos, if I delete my channel, or if I start fucking going in the opposite direction of what I'm preaching about, then consider me being taken over completely, and my life is fucked. But anyways, though, back on topic, the more power it gets over me, it's um, keeping me more in tune with the frequency. It keeps me stuck. It's like, you know, how I was talking about on my other videos, how consciousness, how the mind is like a radio, and there's infinite number of stations all around you, and you're, and me and you are both on the same station because you're listening to me talk right now we're vibrating we're on the same station we're on the same song we're just this we're just different notes on the same song and um and if you want to experience a different reality then you um then you set your mind you get in tune with your mind to experience to you get in tune with a different frequency and you could end up on another planet you could end up in another fucking universe dimension so be you and um and as it gains more power over me, it's keeping me in tune with this frequency. Like, it's it's keeping me in tune with this frequency of um, being stuck. Um, being stuck. It's like keeping me in tune with this frequency of being damned. Like, um, that's why I'm worried if I pass away and I die. And if this thing has enough control over me to the point where I, they're, they're, I, I can't. I can't use my own tuner at all and tune myself into a 
a frequency that would allow me to escape or let alone reincarnate, then once I die, I could possibly be stuck on the astral forever. And, um, or, you know, I have another theory that, you know, if it merges with me completely and fucking, um, and I do die, then I reincarnate into a Jew my next life. And that's another thing that the JOS is not really too, um, too in depth about. Like, um, how are Jews created? How is the Jewish soul created? How did the reptilians exactly do it? And I don't want to say the reptilians because I'm not even sure if the reptilians exist. Fucking, um, I think that's just, I think the reptilians are just another, um, cover story to keep, to keep people from, um, realizing that it's the greys that are calling the shots. And it's the greys that, that's been calling the shots for fucking centuries and centuries. I mean, I mean, just look at the size of their fucking heads. I mean, fucking just imagine. I mean, I have my own theory on that. Like, you know, these greys been around for so fucking long. And even some of our pharaohs and ancient kings, like, you know, even some, one queen from Samaria, ancient Samaria, Sumar, she had an elongated skull. So was she part grey? And, um, and, and there's... DNA people that did DNA tests on her and all that saying that 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 skull of hers was never fucking elongated like that on purpose but it's natural she was born that way so um and then look at Akhenaten you know the pharaoh Akhenaten I mean and, and his wife and kids and shit like that I mean and I know the JOS touches on that saying that they're part great but I but I think I think they twist up the story and um and they, and, they, and they use it for their own agenda to promote their bullshit satanic truth. But there was other kings and queens before that asshole, as far as I'm concerned, that had elongated skulls too and shit. What about them? You don't hear the JOS talking about those ones. But anyway, so... My theory is about the Greys is that as time goes by, thousands and thousands of years, and them just fucking victimizing, I think they just steal... I mean, humanity in a way is like a biocomputer. Like, I mean, um, I, I almost want to, I almost want to compare the greys to um, the insectoids. You know, you got different species of animal, different species of alien. They're gonna perceive consciousness a lot differently from human beings. So maybe we, as human beings, perceive consciousness in a way that they possibly can't perceive it in. So they use our perception in order to come up with new ideas to grow to to evolve and and I, that's one theory of mine that I think is one reason why humanity was created too I mean uh, the, probably the main reason why we were, we were created by these aliens was um, because we perceive things in a way they possibly can and it could only be done with um, mammals our, our, our species our, you know um, primates so, um, that's the reason why they gave our ancient monkey, you know, ancestors the DNA that would allow us to become humans, homo sapiens, and because they had to, you know, they had to do it in order to, um, use that perception that only can be used by us. But anyway, so, back on topic, um, yeah. So that's the reason why the greys, their heads are so big, you know, it's just the knowledge that they heard, heard it from us for, for, for centuries and centuries. But anyways, though, back on topic, uh, when they threw this parasite on me, and it got past my astral, my, my aura, and then merged partially with my astral body, I, um, there's a lot of things I cannot do anymore. Even if I tried, I mean, the, for the life of me, I can't. But, um, so I was trying to tell Blue Line that, you know, whatever you do, don't let this, um, parasite get past your aura, because once it does, you're, you're fucked. And Hood of Cobra would not allow my post to go through. He wouldn't let me tell, he wouldn't let me even comment on that thread at all. And this was when I was a member of the JOS, and I, and I was trying to warn him, I, I put in like five, six fucking comments. And fucking it, each one of them got denied. And I was like, what the fuck? And like my last comment, I was like, what the fuck, Hooded Cobra? You know damn well that I'm going through the same thing this man is, this man's going through. Why won't you let me talk to him? Why won't you let me fucking help him or, or let me, you know, let me warn his ass that this is a, 
this is what's gonna happen if he continues down fucking you know if he if he continues to let this thing gain, gain more power over him and Hooded Cobra wouldn't let my post go through it was like he wanted that guy to fucking fall he he, he didn't want that guy to find out about me and, and what would happen if he you know if that did happen and fucking um that fucking you know was a, a very big red flag right there you know that's when I pretty much fucking knew you know like fucking Hooded Cobra is a fucking Jew man he's working for the fucking enemy and and um anyway so yeah i don't i don't know what's going to happen to me after death and this is one theory of mine is how jewish souls are created and this is where you get the term the eternal jew i always wondered what the hell did they mean when they would call the jew eternal why would they say that the eternal jew the eternal jew you hear it in song lyrics you'd hear it from the jos but what did? But nobody was ever specific on why the saying was the eternal Jew. How is the Jew eternal? And I'm starting to slowly figure out how the Jew is, and um, and slowly starting to figure out how Jewish souls could be created. Because the more this thing gains power over me, and if it start, if, and if it merges with me completely, then um, me and it will become one. Not only will I be sharing my own DNA, but I'll be sharing its DNA as well. And what the hell kind of DNA does it have? And once I do die, and I do reincarnate into a new body, well, I think fucking, it will show itself in the physical aspect. And I'd be Jewish. And um, I could already see it in my eyes, somewhat, you know, the, the transformation taking place. And um, it scares the shit out of me. And this is the reason why, like, I want to fucking, I want to, I want to, I want to stop this before it gets any more fucking serious, you know, I, I don't, I don't, maybe, maybe this is just, I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's merged with me to the point where it could cause any damage in my next life, but if it gets any more power, more so than what it has now, I think it will take take effect and, and I will become something very bad in my next life if I do reincarnate and um and of course I'll be damned but um I don't you know and it, I just I'm just hoping that, that that's not the case but but I do realize that everything is consciousness and um and I do believe that there's a way that you can um switch consciousness, I mean, switch your consciousness with, um, with another person, or, you know, so, like, even if I did become Jewish, I, I could probably, maybe there's a way I could transplant my consciousness into a Gentile's mind, and, and, and throw them into my, you know, into my Jewish being, so to speak, and, and which would be really fucked up, but fucking, <laughs> I'm just listening to possibilities, you know, and my options, because if, because if there was any way to dodge what I'm going through or what what I could be going through, then I would. And um, to any victim, sorry, but you know, s survival of the fittest, I guess. But anyways, um, going back on topic here, I also I also kind of wonder like maybe. Because once I brought up the consciousness thing and, and perceiving consciousness, maybe these aliens, the ones that created us, created us in order to, um, created us in order so they can use our vessels, so they can hijack our bodies, and, um, and once they do merge with human beings completely, like this one's doing to me now, then, then maybe it will be on a higher level of consciousness maybe this is how they evolve you know maybe this is how they jump to next levels you know what I mean and um so you know a, a better version of what they previously were cuz I don't know I'm just I'm just throwing theories out there you know it's like the men in black movie you know how aliens walk amongst us all the time but we don't realize that they look just like us well, I could see how that's a possibility now 
as this parasite's taken over my body, taken over my thoughts, taken over my mind, taken over everything, and fucking, and, and if I continue down, like I said, if I continue down the path I'm on, and eventually it'll take over my entire being, I'll be fucking walking on the streets, and you'll see a human body, but the consciousness of it, and, and, and even on a soul level, it wouldn't be human, it would be alien, and it, like I said, the JOS never talks about this type of shit. I wonder why. But anyways, um, yeah, that's it.